the average rate of change and the difference quotient, the average rate of change or the slope of the function over a given interval provides an overall summary of the function's behavior over the interval. Given a function f defined on the interval a, b, a cannot be the same as b, the average rate of change of the function f over the closed interval a, b is f, b minus f, a divided by b minus a, which is the same as the slope formula, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Another way we say that this is the change in f divided by change in x, or the change in y divided by change in x, or use the notation as the delta f over delta x or delta y over delta x. Let's take a look at the example. In this example, what is the average rate of change if the function f of x equals 2x plus 9, x1 equals negative 3.6, x2 equals negative 1.9? Write your answer routed to the nearest hundred if needed or two decimal places. So let's get started with uh, writing out the formula for the average rate of change, which is the same as the slope formula or y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. But in this case, the x1 is negative 3.6. So then the y2 is going to be the function at x2. And y1 is the function at x1. All divided by x2 minus x1. All right, in the form of the function at negative 1.9 minus the function at negative 3.6 all divided by the x2, which is negative 1.9 minus negative 3.6. And on the side note, let's find the function value of, of each x. So the function at negative 3.6, we plug it in the function notation, which is 2 times the quantity x, which is negative 3.6 plus 9. We obtain the value 1.8. And for the function at negative 1.9, which is 2 times negative 1.9 plus 9. The number comes out to be 5.2. Then we're going to replace the numbers for the function at this x value. At negative 1.9, the function value is 5.2, subtracted by the function at negative 3.6, which is 1.8, and all divided by negative 1.9 plus 3.6. Next, we're going to simplify the numbers. So 5.2 minus 1.8 <clears throat> is 3.4, all divided by negative 1.9 plus 3.6, that is 1.7. And the number simplified to be 1.7. So this is already in the decimal place with one, with one decimal place, so we don't need to worry about routing the number. So the answer is 1.7 for the average rate of change of the function from x1 negative 3.6 to x2 negative 1.9.